In this video, we are going to create a Power Automate flow that uses an AI builder action that will turn the body of an email into JSON output. And the reason that we're doing this is because we want to use the data from that email as dynamic content to create a some HTML code that will be a link that we will then pass to Salesforce by way of a Salesforce case. So let's jump into it. In front of you here, you see the email that I am receiving to an inbox and I'm going to have my Power Automate flow pick up that email and turn the body of the email into the JSON. And I have format this email here that I've got the text here that I've placed here, but the dynamic content in this email that's being triggered by another flow is always something different. So my text, how I've set this up is I put an opportunity ID and then the opportunity ID, the flow in the other power automate flow passes that uh, opportunity ID from Salesforce into the email. And then of course the account name here that you can see. Now here's the flow that is picking up that email. So the email is getting sent and it's triggering this flow. And the very first thing I need after the trigger, which picks up the email is I want to convert HTML of that email body to text. So this is an HTML to text action. And what I'm passing from the trigger is the body. So if I go to dynamic content and I select body, then I will convert this into text. And I need that to be text because I'm passing it next into the AI builder action. So if we add a new action and we select AI builder, there is an action under here, which is called create text with GPT using a prompt. Now we're going to select new custom prompts from the drop down menu. And it will call this create JSON output from email body. And we're going to set up this action so that it's repurposable. We can use it for other flows, right? So we want to make this as reusable of a component as possible. And so before we write our prompt, we're going to take a look over on the prompt setting side here for input. And we're going to click add input. And the name of our input is just going to be text because that is the text from that's being passed from the previous action, right? So we're going to go back to email and I'm going to copy all of this, including this little caution thing up here. We're just going to copy everything from that email because it, these emails are going to all be the same except the dynamic content of the opportunity ID, this value here, and then the account name, this value here. And these are always going to be different, something dynamic. We can expand this to see more here. So this is the sample text here, and I need the sample data in order to test my prompt. So I add that it, I added that in there. Now we can create a prompt. So our prompt is going to be create a, a JSON output from the, uh, from this text. And we insert button up here, the text that we created. So it's a simple prompt as that before we test the prompt. If you go to output, you can see that there is, there are two options. One is text and one is JSON. Let's test the prompt now and you can see it is json formats but if we actually do this json output you can see it actually change changes it to the actual um json style of code so we now have the opportunity id and the account name as dynamic content so if we save this and it says you need to test your prompt before saving to refresh the JSON format. I'm going to test one more time 
see if that works. And then I'll say a custom prompt. Great. Now we're back to the action and we will, in the text, we will pass the outputs of the HTML to text action. So that's this one right here, the plain text content. Great. That action is set up. I'm going to do one more thing now. The flow ends by creating a case and that case in the details has a link that we're generating using the details that we're passing through this email that's going through the GPT prompt. So I am going to add an action here and it's going to be a compose. I'm going to compose the HTML that I'm going to then pass to the details field in the create record, which is creating the case. So HTML, what do I want here? I want the name of the account to be a clickable link that takes me to that opportunity. So what we're going to do is create some HTML. So this is the HTML here, and I need to grab a Salesforce URL. Okay, so I pasted in this Salesforce URL, and this is the URL for an opportunity. So I'm gonna remove that opportunity ID, insert dynamic content. And then what I'm looking for is here, you can see the I am a content of our create text with GPT and you can see opportunity ID there. So we're going to grab opportunity ID that will insert that there. And then we're going to close this out and I forgot my quotes up here. And then we close that out with a account name. And then we close this link here. So now we have our link. And I'm gonna indicate that this is the link, or actually let's just do this, opportunity URL. So that is the opportunity URL. Now we want to take one last step. We go to the details of the create record action, which is creating the case and dynamic content, the opportunity URL. And if we want to add text on here, we can do that as well. So we could say, um, upper opportunity. So now we can save this, run it and have our is created with that URL, which we were able to generate from the email, turning it into JSON output and then passing those details into our to compose our opportunities URL. I hope that you found this video useful. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.